What was that? Nothing. <laughs> Shalom, y'all. This is Fetchy Boy. <laughs> Klutzy, schmutzy, fetchy, schluffy, and nashy. <clears throat> Kvetchy Boy complains almost all the time about almost everything. From the moment he wakes in the morning, I don't want to get up, to the moment he goes to bed, I'm not tired. Nanny, nanny, nanny. Oh, that's the wrong story. And many moments in between. <laughs> My soup is cold. Homework is no fun. My friends are late. Kvetchy Boy always seems to find something to complain about. Even at his birthday party, Kvetchy Boy fetched and fetched. The ice cream made my cake soggy. I hate soggy cake, said Kvetchy Boy. But Kvetchy Boy, said Nashi Boy, who loves to eat, the cake tastes even better that way. Kvetchy Boy didn't agree. Somebody gave me a purple shirt. I hate purple, said Kvetchy Boy. It's my favorite color shirt, said Klutzy Boy, tripping over his own feet. I thought you liked mine, so I got you one for a present. Kvetchy Boy managed to grumble, thank you, but he didn't look pleased. Schluffy girl, shouted Kvetchy Boy. Oh, what's wrong with you? Why are you falling asleep at my party? <coughs> Kvetchy Boy, your complaining is exhausting me, said Schluffy Girl, sleepy-eyed. Shalom, y'all. <laughs> the next day at school, Kvetchy Boy's friends weren't so happy to see him. Nashi Boy didn't offer to share a snack with Fetchy Boy. Klutzy Boy didn't even come near enough to Kvetchy Boy to stumble over him. And Schluffy Girl didn't so much as yawn in Kvetchy Boy's direction. That day, Kvetchy Boy sat alone at lunch and really had a reason to complain, but no one was there to listen to him. When he got home, Kvetchy Boy went straight to his room. Bubby Kvelly, always proud of her grandson, went to see what was the matter. Bubby, cried Kvetchy Boy, my friends are mad at me. They say I complain too much. Well, Kvetchy Boy, you're quite a Kvetcher, said Bubby Kvelly. But Bubby, there is so much to complain about, said Kvetchy Boy. Of course there is, said Bubby Kvelly. I am old, and I have lots of aches and pains. But do you hear me complaining? Kvetchy Boy thought for a moment. Then he answered, no, not usually. Many things are less than perfect, but if you Kvetch all the time, people stop listening. Then when you have something important to complain about, no one will help, said Bubby Kvelly. When he got to school the next day, Kvetchy Boy told his friends that he would stop fetching about the little things. Right away, Nashi Boy offered to share a snack with Kvetchy Boy. In his excitement, Klutzy Boy knocked over Kvetchy Boy's milk. And Schluffy Girl sat next to Kvetchy Boy while she napped. Kvetchy Boy still didn't like getting up in the morning, going to bed at night, and many moments in between, but he kept his fetches to himself. In return, Kvetchy Boy's friends promised to listen if he ever had something important to complain about, and he knew they would. Kvetchy, Schluffy, Nashi, Klutzy, Schmutzy. Bubby, a grandmother. Kepi, a head. Smart, usually one, smart using one's head. Kibitzy, kibitz the joke about. Klutzy means clumsy. Kvelly, to be proud. Kvetchy, whiny, complaining. Nashi, loves to snack. Shana Punum, a pretty face. Schleppy, Carrier drag. Schluffy, sleepy, tired. Schmutzy, chat, schm no, schmoozy, chatty, friendly. Schmutzy, dirty, messy. Tushy, the buttocks or the butt. <laughs> Zadie, grandfather. And that's the end of the story. <laughs> Shalom, y'all. <laughs>